This here is a toy microscope and in this video I'm going to compare this toy microscope with two other microscopes and then I'm gonna let you decide how good it is. Hi, Microbe Hunter here. Well, I bought myself a new microscope and you won't guess which one. And I know that some of you are gonna roll your eyes now. Look at this. This is what I bought for 30 euros. Um, it's around, I don't know, 35 US dollars maybe. It's a toy microscope. Um, and what I wanna do now is I wanna try to compare this uh, toy microscope now to my 3,000 euro microscope that I have standing at home. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be the big showdown now. There's this consensus uh, that uh, you should not buy toy microscopes for children. Um, but it's much better to invest a little bit more money and uh, to buy an introductory um, microscope. Um, the reason being that the quality is significantly better um, at not so much more um, of the cost. Yeah, but I did not want to prejudice a toy microscope, so I decided I have to try it out myself. Um, and then you can decide yourself uh, which one is better. Well, actually, there is one thing that I um, were a little bit already skeptical about uh, this microscope, um, and that is that it starts to magnify at around 300 times. 300 times is the lowest magnification, and it goes up, goes up all the way to 1,200 times. And in my view, this is way too much. Um, so I'll have to see how good the image quality is. Okay, so what I'll do now is, is um, I'll take along um, a, a water sample. Maybe you can see there are some nice uh, yeah, flowers here is, um, growing behind me. Um, so I'll uh, take along a water sample and then uh, at home, I'm gonna put both microscopes uh, to the test. Well, I'll be using exactly the same uh, specimen slide for all three microscopes. So I put a little bit of the tiny amount of the algae on the microscope slide. I put a cover glass on top and I tried out uh, the small toy microscope. And uh, basically what I did is I put my mobile phone camera right on top of the eyepiece. Um, and uh, then I was trying to take a picture and the videos uh, directly through the eyepiece. And I'll be doing the same thing also with uh, the other microscopes. So the comparison is gonna be very fair. Um, I think uh, that the image quality, well, uh you see, you can see yourself, I'm not doing a little a digital zoom here. The image quality mm, could be a little bit uh, better, I think. Uh, um, I could see the algae without problem. I tried different magnifications as well, but it was a little bit difficult to focus. And the reason is, is because it, of the high magnification, it was so sensitive. So if I touched it only slightly, um, the image uh, already jumped around in a very, very um, erratic manner. So I think uh, that uh, the fact that it did not have two focus knobs, but only one actually is somewhat of a, um, of a disadvantage here. And that's also one of the reasons why it's a little bit unstable. So I tried to find something interesting um, and then to try to focus and then I immediately lost uh, again the, uh, the image uh, that I wanted to look at. So that's why it's kind of moving around in a very nervous way. Um, of course, uh, it's also a little bit of a problem because of the, the mobile phone that I put over the IP. So it was already unstable like this as well. Um, yeah, so it's probably gonna be still a little bit easier when you look through it directly yourself. But still, I think um, it was a little bit difficult to actually um, use the microscope. Um, not surprisingly, I mean, it was after all quite a cheap uh, little uh, little gadget, uh, so I'm not expecting uh, um, a lot uh, from, uh, from it, considering the fact that there are so many accessories also included here. But uh, one of the things that I was able to see is I was able to see the individual cells of the algae, um, and uh, uh, however, not very sharply and clearly because there was something that you call chromatic aberration, and this means is that there is this purple fringing and the yellow fringing, um, and that is probably because the lenses might 
be plastic lenses as well um, and of course a lot of uh, not very high quality um, what do you expect uh, at this uh, price level yeah so I was looking around a little bit um, and uh, I was trying to uh, zoom in and zoom out and all the zooming that I'm doing here that was actually done with the camera and not with uh, the microscope um, itself you might be wondering now why why did I buy this uh, microscope here um, as a matter of fact there are several reasons for this and one reason has to do a little bit with nostalgia um, I must have been around I don't know six or seven years old and I got a microscope that looked pretty much the same uh, like this one here for Christmas uh, and uh, yeah so I discovered it again on, on Amazon and I simply decided uh, to, to buy it and uh, give it a test yeah so if you uh, basically look at a steady picture then you can also see a little bit better that uh, there is a little bit of well actually quite a lot of chromatic aberration it means you almost see almost like a double image the reason being because the light the different colors of the light are refracted differently uh, by the optics um, of the microscope yeah so now let's uh, try my uh, other um, a microscope uh, the big one so to say and uh, even though I have a photo tube attached to it I also uh, tried to now take a video through the eyepiece so that uh, the comparison is, uh, is better um, and you can see of course uh, the details are much clearer even though even though the magnification here is lower um, so one of the important things here is is this magnification is not everything the resolution the clarity the sharpness that is the important thing here well I'm again zooming in using a digital zoom on the camera um, so that you fill up the whole uh, the whole screen and you can st uh, still see that there is a lot of more details uh, visible especially if you look inside the algae you can see the different cell organelles much more clearly um, and there's also more movement visible because the optics are simply better of the microscope um, and therefore um, of course uh, you will see more uh, details and also there's less um, chromatic aberration as well um, and the image therefore also appears much more crisp well of course uh, the microscope is significantly more expensive uh, no question about that in any case uh, what I also want to mention is is, is that uh, while this uh, microscope is quite expensive and this is now taken through the photo tube so the image quality is even better um, while this microscope is quite expensive you do not need to pay 3,000 euros to get an image quality like that that's really important to say and to mention nowadays uh, you can already buy microscopes for around 200 to 300 dollars or euros that are able to provide a very similar um, image quality um, because over the last 20-25 years because the microscope is actually that old um, there has been a lot of a lot has happened in the world of microscopy and now um, even microscopes that are significantly cheaper are able to produce a very very good image quality I'm just saying this otherwise some people might be put off uh, with the, by the high price of the microscope and I'm just telling you that um, it's not necessary to pay that much from comparing uh, those uh, two uh, microscopes it should become very very clear that there is a huge difference uh, in image uh, quality between those two microscopes now you might say well of course uh, what do you expect I mean the toy microscope it's only a toy so only 30 it was only about 30 euros or so um, so what do you expect I mean that's basically what you gotta live with right um, and uh, I do have a second suggestion however um, because uh, if you just invest a little bit more money maybe around so 80 euros 90 euros or so you can already get an introductory microscope um, and uh, those introductory microscopes uh, provide a significantly better image quality so what I want to do now is, is I want to show you now um, what you're able to see uh, using um, yeah um, an introductory microscope well are you surprised that a 70 euro 70 75 dollar microscope is able to produce relatively good images like this um, as a matter of fact uh, uh, this microscope does seem to have real microscope optics made out of glass and therefore this uh, also reflects in a significantly better image quality uh, the image quality is of course not quite as high um, as the one from my uh, good microscope the big one uh, but still I think uh, this is already something that you might uh, consider because uh, um, just paying a somewhat more but twice to three times as much uh, will give you already a microscope with a 
significantly more value um, and also something that I think might also give you a little bit more enjoyment because the things that you see are actually much uh, clearer and much sharper. Um, the contrast is a little bit low. Um, the reason being that the, the, this introductory microscope does not have a proper condenser. Condenser that these are optics uh, beneath uh, the stage um, and these condensers are important to actually increase the contrast. Um, this one does not have that. Of course you got to save money somewhere but still I would say that the image quality is reasonably good um, and uh, you can already see the most important details um, and structures as well and also the focusing is much easier it does have two focus knobs a coarse one and a fine one and when you focus then the and the image does not move around so basically the dots that you see this is uh, that's all dirt on the eyepiece so when I turn the eyepiece you can see all of the dirt also rotating around so that's not the fault of the microscope but my fault because it didn't clean it properly one of the interesting things however is that uh, that when you look at the reviews of this uh, toy microscope um, there were a lot of people that uh, gave five stars in Amazon and a lot of people that gave only one star. So uh, the microscope seems to polarize a little bit. I mean, some people were really happy with it and other people said they sent it away right, uh, sent it back to Amazon right away again because they were so dissatisfied. So you see uh, the, the personal expectations that one has uh, plays a very important role as well. And maybe this video, now that you're able to compare a little bit better uh, what the images uh, provided are, by the microscopes well maybe this also kind of influenced your opinion a little bit um, I would like to uh, at the end now um, invite you over of course uh, to visit uh, my Amazon shop uh, the links um, are below um, so if you are interested in shopping for microscopes uh, please have a look there um, and I also would like uh, to simply inform you that I have a fundraiser um, for a microscope because I have a project that uh, where I want uh, to make very high quality images of a lot of uh, different uh, specimens and I would like to make those images available for free and as a matter of fact I've already started a website and you can go there um, and have a look there as well and uh, for that I have a fundraiser. Yeah and if uh, you would like to support me also in a different way I do have a Patreon um, account uh, and uh, I would like to also be say that I would be very grateful for your support there. All the best, happy microbe hunting as always, see you around next time, bye bye.